So one of the things that they're trying to show you in uh, exercise 12B of getting to know ArcGIS is how precisely you can draw things. And sometimes you need to do this and sometimes you don't, but um, it's important that you know that you can do this. You won't necessarily have to remember exactly how to do this, but if you ever need to draw very precisely, you can do it in ArcMap. Now I'm going to do one thing before I start this, is I'm going to go to this streets, and I'm going to make that street show up a little bit better because we need it. Okay, so you can't really see it until I changed it here, but you've got a shape file for the streets, which we're going to use here in a second. All right, so we're going to start editing, and we're going to edit the playgrounds shape file. So we choose that, and it's already chooses to draw a polygon, which is what we want. And our first step is to start this triangular polygon, and we know exactly where the first vertex goes. We've got coordinates for it, and it's kind of right around in here, but instead of, you know, clicking and getting it pretty close, we can get it exactly where it needs to be. So we right click and we choose absolute XY. Presumably we surveyed this or something so we know the exact coordinates where the corner of this playground is supposed to be. Now the numbers it gives us are 993928.234 and 222462.291. Dot two nine one, and we hit return, and it puts that point exactly at those coordinates. And that's probably, I'm guessing, that's some kind of like state plane projected system or something. We'll check here in a second. Okay, so that's where we're going to start, and now we want to draw the first edge, but we want it parallel to this street that we made show up. And so if we come over here and then it snaps to that street, now we can right click and choose parallel. So again, as far as drawing very precisely, it allows us to draw something that's parallel to another shape file. So now we're locked. You see, I move the mouse and I can't move this line in any direction. It has to stay parallel to that street, which is pretty cool. Now, where is the next vertex? It's on this parallel line, but how far? Again, we can very precisely enter a value. So we're going to right click and choose length. And we're going to choose one, two, five, because we know from the plans that the length should be 125. Um, not sure. Again, that's meters or feet. And so we've got a length that is exactly, or, or, or a side of the triangle that's a precise length. So again, we can draw things very precisely if we need to. Now we need one more vertex. Where does it go down here? Well, from our notes, we know that it is uh, 210 degrees from this point, and then 225 feet from that point. So if you look at this point, 0 is north, 90 is east, 180 is south, 270 is west. So 210 is kind of at about this angle, and it has to go out um, 225 feet. But instead of saying it's about here, let's make it exactly. So we right-click, and we choose direction and length this time. Our direction is 210. Our length is 225. We hit return, and there you have it. There you have the precise measurements that we took from the plans. And so we can get very exact if we need to. And now we still have this, you know, we're done, but we still have this cursor active. And so how do we finish this? One easy way is to hit F2. Uh, you can right-click and choose Finish Sketch, which you see is also 
labeled as F2. And there we have our finished um, playground. And just to go back to what I promised, let's just see what, what these units are in. I'm going to right click. Uh, I have to stop editing. So I'm going to edit, choose editor, stop editing, and yes, I want to save my edits. Now that I'm out of an edit session, I can do other work. So I'm going to right click, go to data frame properties, go to coordinate system, and yeah, you can see that we are in the New York Long Island State Plain in feet. And so that's why our coordinates, you know, they didn't look like a latitude longitude, did they? That's because this is a projected coordinate system and it's actually in feet. And so whenever we get, took those measurements and we entered those distances, they were in feet because that's the units we're working in. We can also check here to data frame, uh, excuse me, general, and you can see the map units are feet and the display is in feet. So that's a more reliable way to actually check, you know, what kind of units are we working with when we enter those lengths. Anyway, again, you don't necessarily have to remember exactly how all these steps work, but know that you can do things this precisely. That's important. If you don't remember how to do these things, right click. Right clicking often will be the answer and, and will bring up the hidden commands. And so that's just an example of how you can very precisely draw things in ArcMap. Let me know if you have any questions.